Sandman. Greetings friends. Without a doubt some of the most terrifying and powerful creatures are demons. Imprisoned in the depths of hell, they are waiting for their time and only a few of them, only the most powerful, from time to time invade our world and create real horror. In The Nun, one of these demons, whose name is Valak, appears before us. His story, presented in the movie, is different from the real one and in this video, I will tell you the real story of the demon Valak. You will find out who he is and what powers he possesses. Deep in the darkness pits of hell resides Valak, 62 of the 72 demons of the Goetic Grimoire Ars Goetia and a Grand President of the Infernal Regions. Valak has the power to make those who summon him invisible and reveal hidden treasures, but he is a demon of deception who should not be trifled with lightly. He has 30 or 38 legions of demons under his command. Valak's origins trace back to ancient Mesopotamia, where he was worshipped as a god of serpents by pagan cults. When Christianity began to spread, the early church fathers condemned him as a servitor of Satan. By medieval times, occultists had recorded Valak's sigil and powers in the Lesser Key of Solomon, warning that this demon could only be commanded by those who wore Solomon's seal and followed precise ritual instructions. Physically, Valak is described as an angelically winged boy riding a two-headed dragon. When invoked, Valak speaks in a soft, soothing voice and pretends to be benevolent. He will make grand promises of treasure and power. But ultimately he cares only for corrupting human souls and dragging them into the depths of hell. Valak's powers have limits, however. As a demon, he is bound by holy names and symbols. He cannot enter a place where the name of Christ is invoked or where a true cross is displayed. Valak is also unable to cause physical harm directly, instead operating through deception, illusion, and manipulation. He preys upon human vices like greed, lust and pride in order to lead his victims into ruin. One of Valak's most renowned victims was Father Michael Gerard, a 16th century priest obsessed with witchcraft and demonology. Lured by ancient texts, Gerard became convinced he could command infernal spirits to rise in rank within the church. He created an elaborate summoning ritual in a remote monastery to call Valak and strike a deal. On the first night of the new moon, Gerard drew occult symbols on the stone floor and lit black candles at the points of an inverted pentagram. Gripping an old parchment manuscript for invocation, Gerard began the incantations to summon Valak. Suddenly, the candles flickered out and the air grew thick with the stench of sulfur. In a puff of vile smoke, Valak manifested in the center of the pentagram, disguised as a beautiful seraph. Father, I am called Valak. You have summoned me, so state your desires and I shall serve you, the demon said in a voice that was delicate as a choir boy's. Entranced by the demon, Gerard explained his ambitions, he wanted to expose witches within the church to get promoted to bishop by the Vatican. Valak listened intently, then gave a solemn nod. Mortal, your desires are noble, though the methods trouble me. But it shall be done, said the demon, his voice dripping false compassion. Now, release me from this circle and I shall reveal the secrets you seek. Gerard fell completely under the demon's spell. He bent to scrape a line through the chalk sigil binding Valak to the pentagram, breaking the protective magic. In an instant, Valak shed his disguise to reveal his true form, a horrific humanoid figure with yellow eyes, horns, and outstretched bat-like wings. The demon let out a roar that shook the monastery walls. Fool! You fell for my deception and now shall suffer! Valak thundered as he flapped his leathery wings, kicking up a whirlwind inside the room. The candles blew out and angry winds whipped through the dark chamber. Valak's eyes glowed brighter as he stalked toward the terrified priest. Shadowy claws sprang from the demon's hands as he prepared to shred Gerard's soul. But Valak had underestimated the priest's preparations. With shaking hands, Gerard produced a golden amulet inscribed with the seal of Solomon he had hidden under his robes. He thrust it at the advancing demon while shouting prayers in Latin. Valak recoiled from the holy amulet, letting out an inhuman shriek. The glow in his eyes dimmed as he was forced back into the pentagram which flared with white light. Accursed priest! Your victory shall be brief, I shall have my revenge. 
Valak thundered before his form imploded into a cloud of sulfurous ash. The demon vanished back to hell for another hundred years. Exhausted, Gerard collapsed in relief that his learning had been enough to save him from the demon's wrath. He said prayers of thanks late into the night until sleep finally overtook him. But when Gerard awoke the next day, he was horrified to find the monastery in ruin. The abbot and monks all lay dead, brutally torn apart by some unholy force. Gerard realized with dread that Valak had kept his vow, though banished back to hell, the demon had unleashed an invisible terror to massacre the monastery before departing this world. Driven mad by grief and guilt, Gerard became a recluse until his dying day, warning all who would listen that Valak and his ilk should never be summoned. The demon always demands a terrible price for his services. To this day, Valak remains one of Hell's cruelest tricksters, though few mortals dare to call him forth now that his powers are known. Some say Valak will return to our world and a naive occultist tries to harness his powers once more. But the demon's wickedness is boundless, and all Valak desires is to poison our realm. Should his vile form ever manifest again beyond the veil, pray that you avoid his gaze and hide any treasure from his sight. For Valak's only true offerings are the ruin of mortal souls and the corruption of innocent hearts.